let's look at how to create C Sharp class libraries using Visual Studio. First of all, what is a class library? Well, class libraries are projects that contain common code shared between multiple other projects. You typically you see these as .dll files and they get loaded in and they're dynamically linked and they run and they provide code for different projects. They are a special type of project in Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and jump in and create one of these projects. So first of all, you go to your create a new project thing and you select a class library. So you can search for it, create it. I'm going to create a new class library and I'm going to call this a my math lib so it's my math library and i go ahead and i create this library project all right once the project is created you can go ahead and rename things and you know make things so i'm going to have this be my math as the class you could have different classes in there rename this and I just happen to have a piece of code that I'm going to include in here automatically so I can save myself some typing time. So I paste the code right here. And I now have a, an is even method that I've created. It's beautiful and it is part of my project. So I can go ahead and save this project. I can build it at any point. Um, but you can't really run it because it doesn't really run because there's nothing to run just the library. So I can build the solution, but it will build it as a debug module. So it's, it's great, but it has a lot of debugging code in it. If I want to optimize my code, I could change it to a release and then I can build that. So I'll go ahead and build the solution right here. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at where it's at in my file system. Now we through the file system. I can find my username source repos and my math where it was created i go into the my math project here and i can see there's a bin directory and there are two directories there's debug which happens to have the dll with the debug so it's created right here and i can go down to the release version and that one has this dll right here so this my math lib dll contains my library it has everything and so i could copy this dll file over and use it in a new project so i'm going to go ahead and open up a new project i'm going to go ahead and create a new project right here so i do a new project and this will be my uh, test project and i'm going to create this and now i want to use my math library inside of this project so if I go back to the directory that the project is in, I can see right here, I can save my URL, shrink that out of the way. And then I want to integrate it somehow so I can use it. If I double click on this thing right here, I can try using it, but I don't have anything here. So I go to project, add reference, and I am going to take this library and it's already listed here because I've searched for it before, but you can browse for it with the browse button. And I can just punch in this directory right here. And then I can see this mymathlib.dll. I can click add. I can make sure the checkbox is checked and click OK. At that point, it is now locked in. It shows up here in the references under the mymathlib. So I can now use it. So if I want to use the my math lib, so say I've got an integer two, and I want to check to see if it's even. So I got a bool, let's have an A equals two, and bool B equals, well, it's just an even rod. I want to figure out, is A even? So I can do B equals, and then I use the my math lib dot, my math dot is even and a so i can check that and then my value in b gets set to whatever whether or not two is even or odd so it'll be set to true so that is how i use this library i have to use the library 
the class inside the library and then the method inside of that in order to use these methods. A little bit longer, but it does allow me to then have this library used across multiple projects. And that is how you create a library and how you use it.